All right, first and foremost, all thanks and praises unto our power. Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Wawrakakwadash. Peace, blessings, much respect to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, on down to the rest of the elders who rule well within Israel. Salutations to the hopeful elect throughout the four corners of this whole entire earth, no matter where, whom they may be, or what they may look like, pushing out this purified truth. The rest of the church who believe as well, you men who may not be teachers or prophets, women, sons, and daughters also. The water to Yahweh Shai, because without him enduring and going to that cross for the nation of Israel and the nation of Israel alone, none of this would even be possible whatsoever. Okay? We cannot handle this word like it's just some side fling. We can't treat this truth like it's some huge burden. We can't go about our day walking shamefully about this ministry. You should be confident. You should be bold. You should have faith and knowing that being in this truth, it is the most beneficial thing anyone could ever do. And you have men who are scared to either be seen by men. They're scared to be confronted by men when it comes to concerning our faith all right now at my job i've been <laughs> you know I've, I've done my best to be low-key as possible but people have seen me on the streets teaching so just last night at work one of the employees that work with me he was an edomite and he had asked what was I doing outside? I had on some colorful such and such and such. What were you doing out there? And I just laid it out. I crossed my arms. I looked him in the face. I was like, I was teaching the Bible. I was like, go ahead and laugh if you want to laugh. Right? He didn't laugh. But at the same time, my mentality was, well, if you decide to laugh later on, just know I gave you opportunity to laugh in my face <laughs> if you think it's a joke, right? And you didn't do it because I don't have no shame in this ministry. You have men who have been in this truth longer than I have. And they're handling this word deceitfully. They're hiding in the cut somewhere. They're not in the open. How can people see you teaching if you're hiding somewhere? Okay, let's go to 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 1. Therefore, seeing we have this ministry, and one thing about it, people should see that we have this ministry. And one way that they should see is us out on the streets. Okay, therefore, seeing we have this ministry, as we have received mercy, we faint not. Yet you have many men fainting in this ministry they act as if they're still in the fight because they go out to speak but when they go out to speak they're going out in locations where people won't see them because they're scared of being confronted they're scared of losing their job i've been confronted at my job a few times about me teaching and i still have my job okay yahweh by shum yahweh shy is in control and a lot of men they don't believe that a lot of men in this truth are not really in this faith. Just because they come off like they're in the battle, they're not even fighting. A lot of men are in this truth shadow boxing. If you're going out to teach where no one can see you, you're not fighting, you're shadow boxing, okay? We're not uh, we're, we're not like <laughs> we're not as one who who beats the air. All right? We are one with Yahweh by Shemiah was shy. And we are as they who beat demons. Okay? Verse 2. But have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty. Not walking in craftiness to go out and teach where no one can see you. That's pretty damn crafty. Because it seems as if you're doing the work, but really you're not. Nor handling the word of the power deceitfully. And you're handling the word deceitfully to come off as if you're doing the work because you go out and speak, but you're speaking where no one can see you. 
The only ones who see you are those on the Internet. But those in your city where you reside, they don't see your ass. So you think not being seen is a safe haven for you. You don't want to be confronted. You don't want to lose your job. You don't want to look um, um, silly in front of women. All right. Where I teach. If someone sees you, they're going to see you again. Back in the world. I remember if you had beef with somebody, if you were running your mouth, you would have to back it up because you would see that individual somewhere. You might go to the grocery store, bump into that person. You might go to the mall. You might go to some party. You always end up bumping into this person, right? A lot of men, they're scared of people bumping into them when they're teaching because they're ashamed of the ministry, but they come off through craftiness and deception as if they're really in the fight and they're not. Okay? Nor handling the word of the power deceitfully. But by manifestation of the truth, commending ourself, ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of the power. So we're not doing this dishonestly. We're not doing this deceitfully. We're not doing this in craftiness. The true brothers aren't. Now you have men who are. You have men who other men look at as elders. You have men who look up to these men. And see it as okay who are doing it. Because it's safe. It's the easy way. But you're not really in the fight. And then yet you think there's going to be a place on the chariot for you. When your how about show me I was shy knows your ass has been hiding. Jeremiah 48 and 10. Cursed be he that doeth the work of the Lord deceitfully. And cursed be he that keepeth back his sword from blood. So anyone who's doing this work with a slack hand. And if you're going out to teach where no one can see you, you're teaching with a slack hand. The whole purpose of going out is for people to see you. OK, but if you're going out to teach where no one can see you, you're in the cut somewhere. You're better off just going to your basement and teaching down there. If you have a basement or, or go into some shack or some shed somewhere and go do a video there. Why not? Because if you're going to teach somewhere where no one can see you, even if the video is edifying, people can't see you, man. OK. Curse be he that doeth the work of the Lord deceitfully and curse be he that keepeth back his sword from blood. And a lot of men are keeping back their sword from blood. They're not doing this work. They're holding back information. They're trying to appease people's feelings. OK, the Lord is going to get. All you men like that. Let's go to the book of Luke. Chapter 9. And verse 26. For whosoever shall be ashamed of me. And of my words. Of him shall the son of man be ashamed. When he shall come in his own glory. And in his father's. And in the whole end of the holy angels. So if you're ashamed of this ministry. You're going to be hiding out somewhere where people can't see you. If you're ashamed of this ministry, if someone confronts you and asks, hey, are you out there teaching? And you say, no, you're ashamed. And you have a lot of men. They are ashamed of this ministry. Here it is again. I've been confronted at my job a few times and I still have it. All right. Not only do I still have it. People talk at my job, man. I work at a job where a lot of people work. On one shift and then other people from other shifts because they may work overtime all the time. They may also be an accumulation of more ears on my shift. So a lot of people at one time work at my job. So people know what I do. Now, this is where I work. You have men in this ministry. They would choke on their saliva if someone asked them, hey, what was you doing outside the other day? They'd be like, oh, that, that wasn't me, man. Uh, I don't, you got the wrong guy. <laughs> right? Well, if you're ashamed of Yahweh Shai, he's going to be ashamed of you. We're not even in the time of being, you know, chastised with death. And you have men acting scary, tucking in their tails, man. Okay? For whosoever shall be ashamed of me and of my words, because you ain't got no balls, okay? Of him shall the Son of Man be ashamed 
when he shall come in his own glory and in his father's and of the holy angels. So a lot of men are going to say, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai. He's going to look at you and say, I don't know you, but I was doing the work. He's going to say, no, you wasn't. Yeah, I was out every week. I was I was uh, bringing out lessons and I was teaching in your name. Yeah, but you were teaching with a slack hand. But how, Lord? How was I teaching with a slack hand? You were hiding. And you didn't think I knew that? You didn't think I would catch on to that? You don't think I know everything? <laughs> like, yeah, a lot of men really, you know, because they can deceive men, they think they can deceive the Heavenly Father and His Son too? Like, come on, man. Yahweh Ba Shemi Shai gave us the word. We are to be on the streets, not hiding out, okay? Jeremiah 11 and 6. Then the Lord said unto me, Proclaim all these words in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem, saying, Hear ye the words of this covenant and do them. So we're supposed to go to the streets. We're going to see our people driving by, walking by when we go to the streets, not hiding at some area where there's no traffic. You be lucky if you see a damn leaf blow by. OK, the Lord is telling us go to the streets because if you're not ashamed of this gospel, you are going to teach this gospel openly. You're not going to hold back your sword from blood. You're not going to be teaching in craftiness. OK, because of what somebody may feel. All right. Then the Lord said unto me, proclaim all these words. So we're not omitting anything when it comes to our salvation. Our job is to bring it out, man. OK. And we know the weightier matters of the scriptures, which is what? Uh, judgment, mercy, and faith. If you're leaving out any of those, okay, you are omitting not only um, the truth from others, but you're shooting yourself not only in the foot, but in your own head. Then the Lord said unto me, proclaim all these words in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem, saying, hear ye the words of this covenant and do them. So we're supposed to go to the streets and do that. Not hiding out somewhere where no one can see you. How would people at my job be able to ask me and confront me about what I'm doing if I was hiding out somewhere? If I was where it was safe. Luke chapter 11 and 33. No man, when he hath lighted a candle, putteth it in a secret place. But you have a lot of men teaching in secret places where no one can see them. They calling themselves men with the truth, illuminated with this word calling themselves in the fight and they shadow boxing and they think there's a reward for being a shadow boxer like there's a trophy that says greatest shadow boxer ever okay no man when he hath lighted a candle put it it in a secret place neither under a bushel but on a candlestick that they which come may see the light and who are they which who who are they which may come those who see you how are they going to see you because you're out on the streets not just the internet highway, but the actual streets. And you have a lot of men, they'll make an excuse. Well, we don't have to go to the streets because we have the internet streets for that to make up for it. No, the Lord told us to take our asses to the streets, man. And that's what we need to be doing, openly teaching this word. And you have a lot of men, they're scary. They're hiding out and they're really thinking they can take the short end and still receive the, uh, the kingdom of heaven. Still receive salvation. It ain't going to happen. You're playing yourself. I don't give a damn if, if, if you're new. Or if you're an elder. We can't do that. We've been given. Which way to walk. Okay. And a lot of our people. They don't give a damn. Why? Oh, who, who do you think you are? You ain't got no rank. You ain't nobody. Right? Jeremiah 8 and 3. And death shall be chosen rather than life by all the residue of them that remain of this evil family, which remain in all the places, whether I have driven them, saith the Lord of hosts. So most of our people are going to choose death rather than life. You try to confront them and tell them you shouldn't be doing that. They're going to do it anyway, because in their mind, they already made it in their mind. It's about what they say. It's not about what the scriptures say. It's about what they feel. It's about what their mind's telling them. Okay, well, any, any Israelite, I'm going to say this right now. Any man who claims to be in this truth, if you are teaching where no one can see you, you are not in the truth. All right? 
So I'm going to go on ahead and give all thanks and praises unto our power, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Wa Rakakwadash. Shalom.